Okay, um, as if we didn't have enough stats already, we've got some more. Um, this is something called a student's t-test. Um, what it basically does is to compare two means. Now why would we want to do that? Okay, well, to give you a straightforward example, um, let's say we were testing two new medicines. Um, Oh, sorry, not two new medicines. We're, we're testing two medicines. We're testing uh, the old medicine. We'll call it O, and the new medicine N. Okay, and we get a group of people, and we I don't know what this this medicine does. Uh, maybe it, I don't tell you what. It, it, it's a medicine that makes um, that makes you grow more hair on the top of your head. Okay, so a, a, a cure for baldness. Someone's come up with, and they say, okay, the old one. You know, we can measure how much, uh, how many new hairs you get. So we we got all these samples of people, and we end up with a, a mean value um, for how many um, people, you know, how many hairs grow on people's heads. And here's our new medicine. We measured it on those people, and we got a mean value for that. And we want to say, is the new medicine better than the old medicine? Um, because you might, I don't know, maybe, maybe this one's made um, four thousand hairs grow, and this one made. 4,200 hairs grow and you might say well obviously that, that one's much better you've got 200 extra hairs on your, your head um, the, the problem is that we can't be sure whether it was something else that was being involved that maybe made the difference to why these people have, have got more hair um, why, why these test subjects have grown more hair on the head um, how do we know if that is a really genuinely big difference mean average than that one because of course you know in here there's going to be maybe people who've got 16,000 there's maybe people who've got to got um you know 300 this is a mean average value this is a mean average value so what the t-test is going to do is to compare between two means and find out is there a genuine real difference or is it actually more likely that there's no difference at all between these two things now, I'm going to show you the, the test. I'll, I'll just go through the, the test first of all. Um, I'm going to look on a different video about how we um, interpret what these results mean. It's something called the null hypothesis, which causes all kinds of problems, but we'll come to that in a second. So, I'm just going to show you the um, idea behind it. What we're going to calculate is something called a t-value. Um, now, we should be familiar with some of these symbols. So, x bar meaning the mean of x. So, over here I used O bar. Okay. But x bar 1 and x bar 2. So, x bar 1 minus x bar 2. Mean of x1 mean of minus mean of x2. So, these are all two different means. Okay. And then we can divide the whole thing by. Now, here's where in the. T I'm, I'm going to use the textbook's example actually because. Well, there's a bit of a mistake in it, I think. Um, although I can see what they've done. Standard deviation uh, 1, standard deviation 2, and n1, n2. This is a bit like when we did standard deviation, n is the number of um, the number of bits of data we had, okay? Which can be different. You know, maybe we did more people with the original medicine. It can be different means, okay? So it doesn't always have to be the same number. Now, the problem is this. Where it says here... Um, you know that sigma standard deviation what they haven't done in the book when they show you it although they have done it later on really this is something called the variance and the variance is standard deviation squared now in the book it doesn't show you the squaring here and then um, later on in one of the steps it just sort of randomly says oh yeah and by the way square the standard deviation it doesn't explain it now I'm a bit concerned because when it comes to them giving you this um, formula I'm not sure if they're going to give you the one that's in green or the one that shows the, the squaring I don't know um, but you know, we'll stick with what we've got and then we're going to square root the whole thing usually what we have were in, in stats where something gets squared and then we've got a square root you might think what's the point aren't we you know, sort of doing one thing and then turn it back the other way um, a squaring bit usually gets rid of um, negative numbers and, and routing it kind of cancels out it's a bit of a mathematical trick to make things easy to work with but that's your formula now it looks quite complicated if we just did it like you know if we got rid of that and just said it's the mean divided by the standard deviation squared divided by the number of things um, it, it's actually quite easy it's not 
not anywhere near as difficult as it maybe looks. But let's let's look at their example. So in the book, this is two four seven. Um, in the the uh, just the AS edition, but they they've used um, leaves in their example, um, and it's uh, is it ivy leaves I think. It doesn't matter what it is. Make it ivy leaves, and they're measuring the length of it. Now what they do is they compare two things. This is a really useful kind of test in science because very often what we do is we're comparing two things. We say what happens if we do this, but what happens if we change something? Okay, so we're comparing these two means. What they're comparing here is leaves in the light and leaves in the shade. Now the number in the sample in each case is 10, it happens to be the same, it doesn't have to be. Um, they men, uh, measure the mean length, it's actually this bit they measure, it's called the petiole, but it's, it's that bit, the stalk if you like on the leaf. Um, so the mean length in uh, millimetres is actually the use, and they have 38.9 and 52.8. And then um, they give you the standard deviation. Um, as it happens, standard deviation is actually in the same units as um, you measured your mean, and it just turns out to be that way. Okay, so they would give you this data. They would give you means. They would give you number n, and they give you the standard deviation. Okay, so what they then do is um, um, they start off by mentioning the null hypothesis. I am going to deal with that. I'm going to deal with it on a separate. Um, a separate video so for the moment I just we're just going to go through um, calculating T okay so the first thing they do is again I suppose it, it's getting your steps right there's the first step x1 mean x bar mean minus x2 bar okay and again we'll go through this just because step by step so what they're saying is 38.9 um, minus 52.8 okay now again I don't like the way they phrase this here uh, they say uh, in the book yeah, it's a negative number but just ignore it um, <laughs> I guess the way you could think about that is you know why did we decide that was the second one you might say that you know the shade is the the difference we made you know, if we'd have said that is mean one and that's mean two we'd have had a positive number we'd have had 13.9 so you know, all I can say here is, if you do get a negative number, ignore it. You know, I'm not too happy the way they went about doing that, but there we go. Um, then we need to do this step of um, squaring the uh, standard deviation, or squaring the mean, and dividing it by n. So, our standard deviation at first was 14.9. Uh, and uh, n was 10 okay so you've got to 14.9 14.9 okay you've got to square that first and this is the step I don't think is clear in the book um, divide it by 10 equals 22.201 okay um, and if we do the same with uh, standard deviation do uh, so 52.8 um, and oh sorry brain's going again 15.1 divided by 10 um, but it's squared um, I've got it in front of me here actually so I'm not going to bother redoing it all but it is 22.801 that's the step I think most people are going to make a mess on or forget to do um, but there it is so that's, we've now worked out the top bit, we've worked out what that is, we've worked out what that is. We add these two values together, this is the bottom bit here. Uh, if you add them together you get 45.002. Okay. Um, we then square root it, which is... 6.71 again it's worth just I'm, I know I'm rushing on here it's worth going through this step by otherwise the video lasts long it's worth just following through these things step by step with yourself um, it's so easy to make a mistake at one point in the middle of this uh, and then not be able to work out where you made the error go through it step by step uh, these are the answers and our t value is let me get there uh, Let's 
Brown one up. So this value here, the 45.02, is all of that bit underneath. This value up here is that bit. So what we need is 13.9 divided by 6.71, and it gives an answer of 2.07. Okay, and that's what's called our T value. Uh, the next video I'm going to talk about what that value actually means.